Welcome, and follow me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So, jumping straight into it, I'm going to begin with the dock, which is accessible when you open up any kind of application. Here you have this little dock, you can also access other applications, and this also allows you in turn to quickly uh, swap between applications and also split screen with them. So as an example, I'm using right now gallery. So I'm gonna, for instance, get also the settings. So hold it and you can drag it over. And as you can see, it changes depending on where you hold it. So if you hold it on either edge, it will go into this split screen. But if for instance, you hold it in the middle, it opens up in windowed mode. So you can split screen several different apps at the same time. As you can see you can also resize this as you can see from here when you're using a pen it's actually much simpler because it, as you can see it shows you this arrow so when you grab on it you can move it around and it shows you like when it will grab it obviously you can do this with the finger but it's a little bit sometimes harder to grab it uh, I've been using obviously the fold which has the same kind of functionality so uh, sometimes I just miss it or as you just seen I grabbed onto the this edge only so I can't stretch it downwards so just know that it might be better with a pen now sticking on uh, sticking with the multitasking and this kind of functionality idea there is also dex which you can enable so we can swipe down our notifications extend it and on one of the pages you'll find dex for me it's right over here when you tap on it it will enable you might need to like confirm something uh, very first time but once you do as you can see it opens up now dex itself is fine i have no problem with it it acts as a kind of like a desktop uh, for your tablet obviously if you have a bluetooth mouse as an example and a keyboard or maybe just like one of those dongles that gives you usb ports from usb c to a then you can plug in physical mice like this and use it i don't have any on my hand right now to kind of showcase this but uh, obviously it's typical functionality of just android itself so nothing really like samsung specific uh, so you could use it a normal mouse here and a normal keyboard and it would act almost like a normal computer now this is fine it works great uh, it allows you to open up just applications in this windowed mode as you would do on your computer uh, but the iffy part is uh, leaving this so as you've seen uh, the toggle to turn it on it was in our notification center right or with the toggles it's gone now so when you're done with this mode and you want to turn it off uh, you have to just go through extra freaking hoops to turn it off by going into the settings then finding uh, or uh, Samsung DeX which will be luckily at the very top if you can't find it you can also type in dex and it will show it up and from there we're looking for uh no not this where is it is that not even it Oh yeah, so it wasn't even it. Great. So from here we have Samsung Dex and we can exit it from here. And it will go back to normal one. Mode, fun, uh, the ability uh, to turn it off uh, and removing this icon is absolute stupid. And But obviously that's what you would expect from Samsung. Uh, it's, it was in notifications prior to this. But apparently they decided to up and remove it from your notifications once you enable it to make your life miserable. Um, there is no real reason for it to be gone. And as you also seen, there was no way to customize the toggles and the decks uh, and that like basically when I was showing you these toggles at the bottom. So fun mode, uh, poor, poor support, I guess, though support is there. It just they decided to remove it. But anyway, uh, moving on to something else. I'm going to now go into the dark mode, which you can find under the settings. 
display and you have it light and dark but under that you have dark mode settings which allows you to select it so it turns on on a schedule now by default it is sunset to sunrise but you can also select it to be on a custom schedule so you can start select a specific time that it starts and ends it's about to be concerned why it turns on it's not even seven yet but i guess the time is incorrect so that's why uh, but Obviously, uh, this will give you the benefit of using both of the modes at the same time without needing to swap between them. The device will swap between them uh, on its own based on the provided time or sunset to sunrise. Now, moving on to a next option. This one will be for people that tend to use a uh, tablet, specifically this one, with uh, earbuds as an example or some kind of headphones. This allows you to customize the sound specifically to your hearing. Now you do so by going into the sounds and at the bottom you'll have sound quality and effects, adapt sound, and you have a couple pre-made ones as you can see. So you have uh, off, no boost, we have under 30, 30 to 60, and 60 and over. So you can select each one of them if you want to, obviously. They work okay, um, they might not be best for you, uh, but they will probably will be close enough, each one of those settings depending on your age range, uh, might be just relatively good for you. Now uh, if you want to take it a step further, you can do the test my hearing, now I won't be able to show it because I don't have buds or headphones connected to it, but just to explain what will happen as once you have them connected you will need to put them on and the device will start playing all kinds of super like quiet uh, high and low pitch sounds and all you need to do is select if you can hear it now they will be uh, either playing on left or right uh, and just obviously honestly select if you can hear that sound or not based on how you select it it will then boost specific uh, frequencies that you for instance didn't hear to just accommodate for your typical the age or based on your age hearing loss because as you probably are aware you do lose some of your hearing uh, the older you get and this option just tries to make up for that now moving on to the next thing it's going to be the s pen so we have a couple different settings for the s pen let's just start off by going into the advanced features Okay, advanced features, S Pen, and here we have that it's uh, air actions. So I believe this is for like taking pictures and just like doing weird like motions in the air when you're pressing the button. You have uh, commands, you can check them out. Text, so you can disable a bunch of the pen features, which looks like mm, well, all of them are actually enabled by default. So there we go. Uh, so go through them, customize if you don't want some of them, turn them off. If you, for instance, want to make something more clean, like the little overlay right here, instead of having... Well, I'm launching it for the first time, so let's give it a second. So there we go. So when you're launching it for the first time, as you can see, it shows you this overlay. It's quite big. So you do have the option to actually uh, change it to be actually a little, little bit smaller. I believe it's in here, yep, compact. As you can see, it shrinks it, makes it look a little bit cleaner. But yeah. Now, moving on to the last option, which is also under advanced features. Now, this one is more of a gimmick, uh, but obviously for certain people, this will be amazing. So it's the power button. Uh, or as it should be actually called the power button, uh, Samsung decided to change it into side key because apparently we don't have volume buttons on the side and whatever, I digress. Anyway, from here you have the side key and what you can do is turn off Bixby. If you don't use it at all, there's no point in it being enabled. And honestly, I personally have significantly or infinitely more use off of the actual power button acting as a power button rather than it acting uh, as a waking up Bixby, which I don't use. Now, I don't use any kind of uh, voice assistant. 
but if I would be, I most likely wouldn't be using Bixby, even though I do have Samsung myself. That's the last thing that I don't want to use. So, like I said, I prefer to turn it off. Unfortunately, you either have Bixby or power button or nothing else, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, it would have been very nice if they give you the option to, instead of Bixby, switch to maybe Google Assistant for the people that actually like assistants, but not Bixby specifically. Uh, but obviously they want to cram down your throat their crap rather than you being able to actually be able to use the device that you paid for in a way that you want to use. So either use theirs or uh, or nothing. So yeah, uh, anyway, with this being said, this would conclude the list of tricks and tweaks that I had for you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.